I read over 50 books so far this year and I want to share with you guys my top 10 that I've read so far. Now, these are my opinions, okay? This is how I feel about these books. Me. Personally, me. I don't know where to start, honestly. Some of these books are recent reads, as in I read them in June. And some, they kind of been scattered throughout the last six months. So, we're just going to go ahead and jump right into this video. If you're new here, welcome. I like if you comment, like, and subscribe. This is my second time filming this video, y'all. The first time. I got a new mic yesterday, and I'm kind of testing it out. And I forgot to turn the dang on thing on the first time I recorded this video. Now, mind you, I recorded this video and another video. And the mic wasn't on. And, yeah. But, we would not be making that mistake again. Because we're going to check and double check and triple check. So, let's get into this video because my brain is just all over the place. The first book that I rated five stars this year. So, all that's the rating for all the, these books that I'm going to tell you guys five stars okay <laughs> so the first one is a finer offer by lauren asher i gave this book five stars i really 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 enjoy this whole series the whole series is a five star series to me but i really enjoyed this one the most because you got to see cal's growth and him dealing with his addiction to alcohol and getting help for it that was it. I think that he got the easiest. No. I think Rowan. Rowan, then him, then Declan. If I'm not mistaken, that's his name, Declan. He got, they got, they got an easy way out. He had to go to their old lake house in Lake Wisteria, I think that's how you pronounce the name of it. And he had to go sell the lake house. But when he got there, he realized that Alana, his old girlfriend, his ex-girlfriend, actually lived in the lake house. And she was part owner. So, yeah. Five stars for this. I enjoyed this so much. Love this book. If you haven't read it, read it, I suggest you read it. Read the whole series. I know a lot of people don't like the first book that much. But, you know, the first book syndrome. The next book I rated five stars was Mary Jane. This book, I thought I wasn't going to like this book. And the reason why I thought I wasn't going to like this book is because I'm not the type of person that read books that was written in... 1970s i guess that's why i've been putting off um the invisible life of ed larue but after reading this book i was obsessed it basically follows this 14 year old girl named mary jane and in her family her mom believes in you cook the wife is supposed to cook clean take care of the household and make sure the husband is good but mary jane started working for the cones and she realized that they did things totally different from the way her mom did it her mom cooked dinner, dinner every night she was never barefoot she like it was just certain things that her mom did that mrs cone did that kind of surprised her but i love this book so much it was basically a coming of age book for mary jane and i i like it even more because of the um rock star aspect to it um, Mr. Cone is a therapist and he was, how, what, <laughs> he had a client named, I don't know, Jimmy, and Jimmy kind of reminded me of the guy from Daisy Jones and the Six, because he ended up going to rehab for, I think, a drug addiction or something like that, and I just felt like this, probably, like, I don't know, it's just, you know, but anyways, five star for Mary Jane. Then my next five star of the year was A Night Me, Restore Me. I 
finally decided to dive back into the Shadow Me series. I want to get through it before the end of the year. I have two more books, four more novellas to read. And I love everything about this series. I love Kenji. Kenji is my favorite character. So let's just get that out of the way. I love Kenji. I love Warner. I love Juliet. I love Kenji. I love Kenji and Juliet's friendship. I love the way that Warner loves Juliet. Like, I just absolutely love this book. I love watching Juliet grow as a person and to, you know, growing her strength and her confidence and know what she likes and what she don't like and that what she's capable of and what she accepts and want to accept. Like, I love it. I absolutely love these books. Five stars. The whole series, the five star series. If you haven't read Shadow Me yet, please, 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 please read these series. These books are amazing. Like, I know at first I wasn't feeling the first book of Shadow Me, and I was very concerned as to why people like that. But I always go into the second book. I always read the second book just to make sure that I can stand firm on I may not like this series. But after reading the second book, I was hooked. I was hooked. So... Warner, Juliet, Kenji, love them. Love, 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 love them. The next book is A Court of Silver Flames. I've been putting this book off for so long because I did not want to be done with this world. Like, I did not want to be done with Rising and Phaedra, Nessa, and Cassian. I did not. I did not want to be done with them. I, like, I love them. I love them and I love this book so much because you got to see everybody that was in Akatar, A Court of Mist and Fury, A Court of Wings and Ruin. You got to see everybody. Everybody, you got to see them in this book and I love that and I just did not, I did not want to, I really want to go back and reread Akatar. like I really do. I'm really, I'm really thinking about it. So, we will see. If you see me before the end of year talking about I reread this series, mind your business. <laughs> the next book is A Thing We Hide from Delight. This book follows Nash from um, Knox Brother from The Things We Never Got Over. I It picks up right where it ended in The Things We Never Got Over after Nash got shot. And you get to watch him deal with the PTSD of that, his traumas, and also falling in love in this book as well. I, and then, first of all, the small town, the found friend, like, you get to see, every, like, I just love Lucy Square writing because she makes sure that, at least in the Knock em Out series, because it's like the only two books I've read from her so far, um, she makes sure you get to see, you get to feel you feel all the feels basically the banter love it the the the, the found family love it the small town obsessed with it you get to see the man that runs the the, the wood shop i guess <laughs> like everything and everyone i absolutely love this series i cannot wait to um sloan come out i can't think of the other guy it's the friend i forgot his name I can't wait till that next book come out. I am going to run to the store and get it. And I am going to devour that book in one day. Cannot wait. Five stars. Five stars. I just feel like when you release a book that you know is going to be amazing. Just go ahead and release the second book in the following month. Because after reading The Ballad of Never After... I cannot wait to read A Curse of True Love. The way this book ended on a cliffhanger had me ready to pull out my hair because I couldn't get the next book right away to see what happened. Her books ends on cliffhangers that makes you want to dive into the next book and dive into the next book and dive like obsessed. I am so obsessed. <sighs> I cannot wait. If you haven't read um, Once Upon a Broken Heart or The Ballad of Never After, I say wait until A Curse of True Love come out because you're going to want to read all three back to back. You're going to want to binge the whole book series. Like, you're going to want to binge the whole series. I should have waited. 
I love this book. I didn't like uh, Once Upon a Broken Heart that much. I gave a book a three star. 3.75, let's be honest. But this one right here, five star. <sighs> For a person who don't like thrillers, I am obsessed with The House Across the Lake by Robbie Sire. Sailor. I'm obsessed with this book. I binged this entire book. I'm obsessed with it and I'm going to reread it. If they can make this book a movie, I probably will watch it like 12 times. I was just talking to my boyfriend about this book the other day and I don't know how many times I can tell you guys, I'm not a mystery thriller girl. I'm not a, a scary movie type of person. I don't watch scary movies. I'm not, it's not something I'm into. But this book right here, amazing. It was so many twists and turns. Things will happen that I didn't think was happening. It was just so many plot twists in this book that had me at each corner. I was reading this book just vibing. I wasn't even trying to, I wasn't sitting back trying to pimp, pick through the book to figure out what was going to happen. I was just reading and vibing and going with the book and going with the flow of the book. And it, it is so good. So amazing. I'm obsessed. I love this book. Ugh. Please read A House Across the Lake. If you don't read nothing else in this book, video. You know what? Read everything in this video. I'm not even going to lie to you. Just read everything. The next book I read was Ace of Spades. This book follows Chikamaka and Devin. They go to this predominantly white school where they're basically the token black student the black students there um they have this cult called the ace of spades basically where they try to destroy their whoever the black students they are that led they led in the school in their senior year they try to destroy their reputation so that they're not able to get into college now that is crazy to me because who told you that it was okay for you to dictate whether someone deserves to go to college or not they work hard for those scholarships. They deserve to go to those prestige colleges. I love this book so much because it's crazy that stuff in this book happens in real life. Obsessed. If you haven't read Ace of Spades, please read it. It amazing book. The last book, but the most, the, the, the new release. Yep, 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 Fourth Wings. This book is so good. I love, uh, what's his name? Zayden? I love Zayden. He gives me very much Ryzen and Favor son vibes. He could be their son. I thought I was obsessed with Ryzen. Zayden? He's right there with him. I, the, <laughs> this book is so good. I just... I wish I bought it and waited until the next one came out to read it. I don't know how many books that's going to be in this series, but I hope it's Sarah J. Mass type of long. No, I hope it's Cassandra Clark type of long. I'm obsessed. I love the dragons. I love Zayden. I love the female main character. Her best friend. I don't like him. Because he kept feeling the need to tell her what she can and can't do and what she should and shouldn't do. Like, stop pushing your insecurities off on me and that's what I felt like he was doing pushing his insecurities off on her but it was crazy I love this book if you haven't read this book yet please read it please 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 read it I know a lot of people want to wait until the hype died down off this book to read it but I suggest you read it now because it I, so amazing like I, I don't even know what I was reading when this book first hit tiktok and everybody was ranting and raving about it and how they couldn't get their hands on it. But mind you, I was just like, my books mean don't have nothing in the world. But it had a whole bunch of these books. They don't have nothing in the world, but it had a whole bunch of these books. And I walked past this book for weeks before I read it. Before I was like, well, let me just get it. Because all the girlies and boys are saying that this book is up there with Akatar. 
And when I heard that, I was like, I'm going to just go ahead and get it. I'm going to get it, and I'm going to read it, and I got it, and I read it, and I'm obsessed. And I cannot wait till the next book comes out. But those are my top 10 books that I've gave five stars so far this year. And is there, are there going to be more? Probably. There probably are. Um, so, yeah. But I'm going to go ahead and end today's video right here. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video.